Hi, this is Katie Fehrenbacher with GigaOM TV, and I'm here with T. Boone Pickens. And it's a very exciting day for his team because they've now introduced their natural gas bill. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Well, the bill will be identified as H.R. 1380, and uh, we got the number today. Of a, we always call it Natural Gas Act, and that will be the case too. <clears throat> but it's been introduced, and it's, to, it's targeted on the heavy-duty 18-wheelers. What we want to do is to take the take out the diesel, go to natural gas. They will be uh, dedicated engines uh, just for natural gas. And those are the big users of fuel, 20 to 30,000 gallons a year. So this is big. If we get the 8 million 18-wheelers, which I think we can do it inside of seven years, if that we can accomplish that, then we'll take out half of the OPEC imports. OPEC, we get 5 million barrels a day from OPEC and this will be two and a half million barrels a day. Okay, so the act uh, gives truck owners a $60,000 tax credit to buy a natural gas 18-wheeler, big rig. Yes, Okay. That's right. And this, but what it does for this country, you have now tossed your hat in the ring. I mean, you are in the energy business globally, and up till, I mean, we haven't been for years now, but we're, this will be the first step to put us at the big table for energy. Okay. And you've been working on this a while, a um, couple years, and now you finally introduced it. I mean, how do you, how do you feel about that? You well, you, you know, of course you feel good. Uh, I thought uh, last year we would have gotten it done. And uh, we, you know, we got pretty far. We learned a lot about the process and, and what we had to sell and how to, how to package it. And uh, I, th I think we did it about as quick as you can do it. Yeah. What are your expectations for uh, how well it's going to pass, if it's, if it's going to make it through the Congress, and, and what time frame? Well, Congress, uh, they'll have over 200 co-sponsors for the bill. We had 155 last year, and they're split 50-50 between Democrats and Republicans, so it's a nonpartisan issue. It, it's pretty easy when you, you know, when you pin somebody down, are you for the bill? Well, no, I'm not. What's your bill then? What's your plan? because you're either going to be for something that's domestic or you're going to be for foreign oil. Now, you won't say you're for foreign oil, but you will be because that's what you're going to get. You either get this plan or you've got foreign oil, and that's what we've had for 40 years. Now, if we don't get this passed, we'll have the same system we've had for 40 years. So tell me about the environment that you think has led to getting this bill introduced. So, you know, there's turmoil in the Middle East right now. You know, oil prices are going up. I mean, this is, seems like the time that um, this, a bill like this could be successful. No question. But, you know, then you look at the resource you're going to use in America. Now you're going to create jobs. The, the fuel is cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cleaner. It's domestic. It's abundant. It's ours. I mean, how can you be against that? It'd be pretty hard to figure out an argument against that. Yeah. And this act is um, kind of the, the end goal for your Pickens plan, which you started, what, three or four years ago? Also? Started July of 08. July of 08, okay. So I'm coming up on three years. Okay. And this is kind of a big goal post for you guys. It is. There's no question. I mean, this is what we wanted. We, we figured out that the way to go is go for the heavy-duty 18-wheelers, the biggest users of, uh, of diesel and knock those off and but see that again a, a break for us uh, a battery won't move an 18 wheeler so we don't have any competition from battery batteries going to be light duty vehicles am i for that i'm for anything american sure so but this is the only resource you have to uh, replace diesel okay and do you think we have the kind of natural gas vehicle uh a business client to kind of support 8 million natural gas vehicles? Do you see that ramping up to support that? I do, mm -hmm. I, I, because <clears throat> it's going to be a, a, the patriotic uh, part of this argument is going to get very big. And you're going to see 18 wheelers going down the highways with a, with a you know, they're going to advertise on the sides of those 18 wheelers. It's going to say something like, I'm on U.S. natural gas, not on OPEC. I mean, it's, it's going to, you're going to want that on your equipment. Okay. 
And um, so natural gas has always been a big part of the Pickens plan. Um, and you've had other pieces like your the wind and your the wind farm you invested in. Have you felt like the Pickens plan changed at all over the past couple years? The Pickens plan has changed. Has it changed? Has it changed? Well, you the the wind is sort of uh, on the shelf because wind is priced uh, off of the lowest cost uh, power generation. That's what who they have to compete with, mm -hmm. and so that is that's natural gas. And so natural gas at four dollars, you can't finance a wind deal. You got to have natural gas at six dollars <throat> to finance a wind deal. So until natural gas gets back up to six dollars, but the the beauty of of our of our plan is that one MCF of natural gas equals seven gallons of diesel. So one MCF of natural gas is four dollars. Seven gallons of diesel is twenty five dollars. So it's such a huge difference in the cost of natural gas, 30% cleaner than diesel, and then uh, diesel is so much more expensive. And it's going up, as you well know, diesel I think today in California is probably 425, 430. You think natural gas prices are artificially low right now? Yes, because you're, when you say artificial, watch on that word, it's just in oversupply is what mm -hmm. you have. Yeah. You found so much natural gas and typical of a commodity, oversupply, low price, and when it undersupply, the price spikes up. So you think it'll go up this year or no, the next I couple years? No, I don't, not really. No. I think you got so much natural gas and, it, and uh, the operators are still drilling, completing natural gas wells. <clears throat> a lot of wells have been drilled that haven't even been treated yet, and so that's yet to come on. Okay. And so, anyway. So the price will stay low for some time? I think for you know a year or two, I think you. Okay. So in terms of like your personal wind farm, that's on the shelf for now. Do you see that coming back? No, Are you? No, where that wind farm is going to be where? is has been. I've released all my wind leases. It's over two hundred thousand acres lease. It was you know it's a big loss for me. Yeah. And then, but I have those turbines purchased, and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to announce. Uh, four or five wind deals within the next 60 days. Okay, so We're, reselling the turbines? Pardon me? Reselling the turbines to another well, wind provider? No, uh, I'm going to actually, projects are our oh. projects. Okay. And uh, But they're in Canada and some in the uh, uh, Midwest. Okay. And you think oil prices are going to go up dramatically too? I had read you were predicting $300 barrel oil? I never said that. Okay, what, what do you think? They, where prices. the 300 was, I said, if you do nothing, okay. that in 10 years you'll be paying over $300 a barrel. But no, at this time, I think <clears throat> you're going to see $120 oil coming up here pretty quick. And uh, and if you look, I, I'm pretty well convinced the world can only produce about 88 million barrels a day. And if you look at the fourth quarter of this year, projections for demand are 90 million barrels a day. So 88 won't cover 90. So you balance the market by raising the price. So it's you're going to have to start killing demand here pretty quick. Okay. But the last three weeks we've seen demand down on gasoline, so you may be seeing the first uh, part of high price gasoline does kill demand. Okay. And uh, the natural gas vehicle market will, you know, pick up dramatically if this bill is successful. Now you say vehicle market. Well, retrofit or the truck market, yeah, the parts they, market. They, the, the trucks, yes, no question. That uh, uh, the, there are 280,000 uh, trucks will be built next year, 18 wheelers. And about 20% of those are probably going to be natural gas. So that's going to be a giant step next year to where we're headed. Yeah. So, I mean, a whole new industry is going to pick up kind of around this bill if it's successful. That's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. And you um, backed or supported some natural gas, like innovation vehicle companies. Like um, there was one that uh, won the DOE grant, uh, I think it was. MV1. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and V Vehicle, I think, was a previous investment of yours. Um, so you're looking to actively spur innovation in that area. Yes. Uh, but I, I, I think we're a little bit further away from it than I thought we were. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're developing the battery. We're going to see what the electric car, the Leaf and the Volt, and uh, see what they do uh, this year. And, uh, but all that's good. I mean, we're, 
we're doing it at home here. It's my my biggest problem is a security issue, and that is you know when somebody says what are your pay fors on it, you don't have a pay for for the army. I mean that's a security issue here. This is a security issue, but whatever, however they craft it, we'll we'll, we'll answer the questions. But if we have to have a pay for or whatever, but we're we're out of the 13 million barrels we import every day, five come from OPEC, and that oil I'm convinced, as Jim Woolsey, who was head of CIA, mm -hmm. we've talked about this a lot, that some of the money that's being paid for that oil is paying the Taliban. And that, I, I just, I, I'm very opposed to having our people in Afghanistan. I think we need to get them out of Iraq and, and all. Get out of the Mideast. Get on your own resources and quit looking to that area for the answer to energy problems in America. Yeah. Do you think the clean energy uh, problem has been mismarketed or not wait a minute what clean energy what do you mean so the idea of climate change or clean energy i feel like the public hasn't embraced it because it hasn't been put in the same language as say um energy security or those kind of things and that you i won't about. say that it's, it is i don't know that uh i'm a guy that that believes that we have uh probably uh caused some of the climate change uh questions but i'm also a geologist and you go back and look at time, you can see where you had thousands of years of drought or ice or whatever else. And, and so I know that, that but the, the, we, the people, were not there when those periods took place. We're here now, and I think we are affecting uh, the climate. So uh, whether it's been marketed right or not, uh, I don't know, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert. I don't focus on other people's issues very much. I try to stay totally on mine and then I, I never drift. I'm not giving people advice on anything but energy and I think I know more about this issue than anybody else does. Yeah. Do you think Obama has done a good job on his clean energy plans and particularly in the State of the Union address he talked about natural gas kind of for the first time um, and included that in his clean energy plan. Um, so. I mean, do you think he's been doing a good job? Well, uh, there had been anything happened. Yeah. It's been a little conversation, that's about all. But you, he needs to get something accomplished. But he's in the right track now that he backed your bill, or talked about your bill. Sure. <laughs> well, it, when you look at it, it's the only resource that, will, that we have that can reduce foreign oil. OK. Um, I think that's any, all my questions. Is there anything else you want to highlight about the bill? Or? No, the, uh, you know, I, I think we'll, uh, on the first vote, I think we'll have over 300 votes for it, and it'll pass over to the Senate. And that's good to go with a huge majority. When you look at the, at the cap and trade bill that passed a year ago or two years ago, that it had only a three, three vote majority. So you're almost, I think, coming out of the House with a three vote majority you're not going to get very far mm -hmm. and it didn't and here we'll have we'll have a real majority when it comes goes over to the Senate so I think we've got a better chance of getting it out of there quick yeah and but, but I think it's all going to be signed into law by the end of this year okay I hope so too good, good luck on that thank, thank you so much sure